Desktop, Epoxy Resin Table Design Ideas, Catalog 2023 Best 200, Epoxy Resin, River Table Designs, with top tips and tricks Don't go anywhere, just keep watching Hey everyone, and welcome back, to your channel HD Interiors. If you think that, you need a professional craftsman, to have a beautiful epoxy table, let us be the first, to tell you that you don't. If you have the stomach for it, in this video, we've laid out, a few helpful tricks, as well as a short, how to detailing exactly, how you can create an epoxy resin table, that will leave your guests asking, where you bought it. It might seem like quite the undertaking, but with the right tools, the right motivation, and a few pointers, soon, you'll be on your way, to creating an epoxy resin table, that would put even, the most prestigious furniture store, to shame. In recent years, epoxy river tables, have been all the rage, all over the world. Although, they seem to have a following, all over the globe, the origin, of this aesthetic movement, seems to have originated, in the good old USA. Their popularity, seems to be growing exponentially, and why wouldn't it? Epoxy resin tables, fit virtually any aesthetic, and feel at home, in any space, whether, you have a small apartment in New York, or having, a well-deserved cup of bourbon, on your ranch in the light of the Texas sunset, these tables just feel right. How do epoxy river tables, pull this off though? Well, it's a combination of factors, but the primary reason, seems to be that they have no aesthetic limit, allowing anyone, to create one that fits their style, and the space, they're placing their epoxy river table in. Let's face it, you know what your living space, needs far better than, the team over at the local IKEA does. It is very important that, the environment in which you work is a dry, heated room, with a temperature of around 20 C, during the entire process. The resin must also be, at room temperature, so, if it is delivered cold, or if it has been in the garage, you should increase the temperature to, a minimum of 15 C before use. Damp, or cold conditions, affect the end result. Also, the room should be as dust, and dirt free as possible, to ensure great results. Choosing the right wood, for your table. If the secret to baking a good cake, is choosing only, the best ingredients, then the trick, to creating the best epoxy river table, is choosing the best wood. When choosing your wood, make sure that, it is dry and flat. The style, and type of wood, is a personal choice, although interesting grains, and year rings, work best for this type of project. We are going to saw the wood, and prepare our piece of wood, but if you don't have these tools, you can ask your supplier, to have the wood sawed, in the right sizes. You can also, ask him to cut the wood in half, if you are going to make a trench. You will then have to, turn your pieces of wood, in half, after sawing, to create the trench, and remove any bark from the edges. In this way, the resin can adhere to the wood, and the finished table, is mechanically strong.
You can inquire at, a wood shop, or a machinist in the neighborhood, if you can use this machine here. This is often no problem, at all for a small price. Doing this, saves a lot of time, by not sanding the whole blade flat. Use a chisel, to remove the bark, and sand, with sandpaper to, remove any loose material wipe dirt, or dust, from the wood, and use a vacuum cleaner if necessary. This is necessary to, have the epoxy bonding to the wood. Wipe the table with white spirit, and let it evaporate completely. This is necessary, before the epoxy can be applied. Then the cracks knots, and crevices at both the top, and bottom of the wood must be, filled with resin to seal them. Use tape to seal the cracks, and gaps to prevent the resin, from running out. A PE tape, works well for this. The epoxy can't stick to it. This means, for every 1500 grams, of mixed epoxy resin, you need 1000 grams of part A, and 500 grams of part B. Use this calculation, to weigh your desired amount. Now, place your wooden planks, in such a way that you can, make a holder for filling the river channel, this will support the resin, during the casting, and curing the river. Use a flat board, such as MDF, or chipboard, that is slightly larger than the board itself, and can serve as a base plate, to work on. You can use, the blue-green metallic pigment, in your resin, to achieve an overwhelming effect, on your table. Using the Perpoxy Deep Casting Epoxy Resin, which can be poured in, one go to a depth of 5 cm, at 20 degrees Celsius room temperature, divide the Do not mix more than 5 kg, at a time, and repeat if necessary. Then add the correct amount, of hardener, to the pre-colored resin, and mix thoroughly. Then transfer, to a second clean bucket, and mix again, double potting, you are now ready, to prepare the resin, for the base sealing layer. Once the resin, is cured on the base sealing layer, you must prepare the resin, for the river layer. Measure out the resin, and add the correct amount of hardener. Mix well for 2 minutes, by adding the pigments if necessary, and bring the epoxy to color. After this, we transfer the whole, to a second bucket, to mix again for 2 minutes. Leave the resin to rest, for 15 minutes, to allow most of the air bubbles, to come to the surface. You remove these air bubbles, with a gas burner, or heat gun before pouring. Let epoxy rest, for 15 minutes, to allow air bubbles to escape. Pour the resin, into the channel of the river, use a gas burner, or heat gun, to remove any bubbles. The perpoxy casting resin, degasses itself over time, but you can, speed up this process. Do this by using a heat gun, or hairdryer on a medium heat.
Dear viewer, thank you very much, for watching the video, until these seconds. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe us, if you haven't already, so that you receive, new and distinctive videos.